Are you a deviant? You know, like those of us who binge watch serial killer programs, laugh at the stupid shit people do, and revel in anything adult? Well, you found your people. Join us as we crack open the door to the padded cell and release the insanely stupid, the weirdly wonderful, and those who choose to live outside societal norms. We'll delve into the strange, the macabre, the sexy and the outrageous. So, if you're a deviant, then you have your place with us in the padded cell. Welcome to episode 45 of the Padder Cell Podcast. That's 45. I'm Vicky. I'm Nancy. I'm Ryan. We've got Ryan. Ryan's going to be uh, here regularly now for our live episode, don't you? Yeah, <clears throat> I think so. Yeah, you mean you look a bit more enthusiastic than that, like me. Until we finish it off. The people queuing up for your job? Not. <laughs> <laughs> Every fuck is terrified to come on the desk with me, I think. <laughs> I, I slam. Um, so uh, we are live on Facebook and we are live on YouTube. Uh, we've got about 21, ooh, 23 people watching live on uh, YouTube. You we've got oh, no. we've got four people on Facebook. Pathetic. Get your mates on. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Good morning, ladies. Good morning. You're all pathetic. Ladies <laughs> is in the building. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. You're pathetic. So for those who Get are out. watching us on Facebook, you're just going to be watching us for five minutes. This is a live recorded episode for our YouTube um, Patreon followers. Uh, and this is just like a, a little morsel um, to um, tantalise your taste buds. What are you doing? I'm, I'm He's just I'm, replying I'm to someone that oh, asked him where his reply? laptop is. Oh, OK. Um, so this is just a, a little taster. And if you want to join us live with everybody else, uh, you can go to patreon.com forward slash the Pathacell podcast. Uh, it's £3.50 a month. You can just pay once, watch this, watch the other things that are on there and then fuck off if you want. But it'd be lovely <laughs> if you can stay and pay every month. Uh, and for those over on Patreon, uh, watch us on YouTube. Good morning! <laughs> I feel like it's going, good morning, Vietnam! <laughs> I am in one of their moods today. I can tell. Can you? <clears throat> what was in that coffee you had before? <clears throat> it was a cup of tea. Um, I, it, it's very, very nice, but um, it's done. It's done things. Yes. <laughs> I think what it is, I've had no breakfast. I've had a bite out of a grenade bar. <clears throat> That's my breakfast. So yeah. Did any good them? They're very nice. That, that, that's that's my favourite nice. one. Salted peanut one. Mm. Absolutely gorgeous. They are. So a big hello to everybody over on YouTube. Um, <laughs> so you are going to be uh, looking at the comments, feeding back, saying hello to people, typing shit and all that, I think. Sarah's asking if um, Ryan's laptop's gone floppy. Yeah, <laughs> it got wet, so I need to, I need to construct a new said, one. Have you got a floppy one? Have you got a floppy one? Very rarely. So, talking about uh, <laughs> floppy ones. <laughs> no, I can't let me. We need to backtrack there. What was, <laughs> what was that you just said? Vicky loves a salty nut. <laughs> oh, I do. <laughs> okay, so ooh, we've got 25 people watching on Facebook. We've got some good mornings over there as well. Hello from Australia. Someone's uh, saying, have a good day. And no snot today, please, from Ryder. Morning, Ryder. <laughs> what are they saying over there on YouTube? Can't promise. <laughs> um, no, I'm just taking the piss out of Ryan being floppy. You like him salt <clears throat> salty nuts. OK. All so the snot for Ryder off Mrs J over there. Causing know, trouble. Yeah. So we normally have a little bit of sexual tension on the desk, don't we? Oh, is, that, is, is this being announced? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think we need to say any more. No. no. I don't think anybody needs to say any more. I think we just leave that there because you can all guess <laughs> why there's no longer sexual tension on the desk. <laughs> <laughs> I've just announced the world. Don't you make me go red. No. You're not embarrassed. You're proud, aren't you? Hey, Mrs G, how are you? <laughs> so, yes, there's no sexual tension anymore on this desk. Especially with his wife in the corner. Yeah, so <laughs> Mrs G's in the background make sure it doesn't happen again. She's <laughs> <laughs> she was, she was like, oh. Okay, so we're going to stay on Facebook just for another few minutes. Um, but in the meantime, this is going out today on the 22nd of July. Because normally I'm doing it in advance, aren't I? But it's like, it's yeah. weird, isn't it? Yeah. It does a bit, yeah. And uh, on this day in 1918, a single <laughs> bolt of lightning struck 504 sheep dead. At Wasatch National Forest in Utah. Oh my God! How many? Five hundred and four sheep with one lightning strike. But apparently, when when it's like bad weather, the sheep herd together, and one lightning strike just like struck right in the middle and obliterated all these little sheepsies. Multiple. I know. Yeah, it's a bit shit, that isn't it? Are you laughing at? 
Why would you do? It's just, just like a gaming reference right now. Oh, okay. I thought you'd appreciate that, Carl. Been a nerdy virgin. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm no nerd. I'm on game. Carl because I've had something against you. And <laughs> yeah, <I do>. <laughs> <laughs> Last year, on this day, Taylor Swift's concert in the US in Seattle, it generated um, enough seismic activity uh, to reach 2.3 on the magnitude earthquake scale. Whatever that is. Basically, the same, it was a sellout. And um, with all the fans cheering, jumping, stamping, and the speakers, that's what created this like rumble in the ground. And it actually read 2.3 on the magnitude. No yeah. That, that was Taylor Swift. That was Taylor Swift, yeah. That's, what, that's probably more than we've ever had in this country. We get earthquakes every well, now and we, again. We get don't some we? substantial ones sometimes, not mm. enough to like take buildings down. Like, that's what I mean. So. I, don't, I, I, I don't know the figures, but. There's one in the 80s. I think I was about eight, seven or eight, and it made me fall out of my bed. Shut up. Yeah, yeah. I went into school and I was like, oh my God, you feel the earthquake? I fell out of my bed. <laughs> it might have been the ghost that weed on your bed. It might have been. No, it was a bit uh, before that. It was a bit before <laughs> that. I'm pissing. So uh, Taylor Swift, you know when she was here and all the hype over Taylor Swift, I didn't get it. Do your girls like Taylor Swift? They're not into her at the minute. Someone is though. Swifty on oh, the corner. God. Yeah, I know. You a Swifty? So Ryan's missus is here, as I've said before, and she's a Swifty. Absolute Swifty. Oh. See, the, I, the, the, I'm on the fence. I don't love her music, <clears throat> but I feel like her concerts are something that I would like to experience just for the vibe. Yeah. yeah. And I'd love to see Paramore. Yes. Yes. I'd have been way into Paramount more than... More than her, yeah. yeah. It's, but, a weird, it's a weird act, isn't it, to support? I think just because she's so big. Yeah. They mm. need someone. Maybe. But do you not think the music style's different? It's yeah. a different genre. There was genre. so many Swifties there, like, oh, my God, Paramore are going to get so much publicity off this. Like, yeah. <laughs> they should be so thankful. No, they're big enough as they are. Like, Paramore have been going for many, years, many years. Years, years, and yeah. In fact, before Taylor Swift, I yeah. think. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, way before. But I'm not, I'm not into it at all. I mean, do you know what? I like <clears throat> some of her early stuff, and I can appreciate that she's a good musician and she does good things, but it's just not my source of music. Oh, apparently, Mr. G said, uh, Taylor Swift and Paramore are best friends. Oh, are they? Apparently. Oh, there you go. But the thing I don't get is, that most, most of Taylor Swift's songs, or the ones I've heard anyway, is all about breaking up and your fella being a knob. Yeah. So she'll put it on on Alexa in the kitchen and she's there singing, my fella's a dickhead and I never <laughs> want him back. <laughs> I'm just sat there like, we've been with each other 10 years and like, everyone's going really well. Why do you love these songs? Like, oh, I just like to imagine us breaking up. <laughs> <laughs> she's just about to tell you. Oh my God. Is that, Is that like true? for real? <laughs> she just lives in these scenarios. You can't, you yeah. can't speak. You're not a mute. No. <laughs> okay. Wow, okay, have you got any Swifties on here? Nance? I tolerate Taylor for the family. <laughs> tolerate her. <laughs> I'm definitely more metal and alternative music fan, same. But, like, if it's on the radio, there's some mm. songs I'd like to sing along to. In yeah, the car, she's but... got some bangers, but yeah. I wouldn't. I liked uh, Romeo and Juliet years ago, that yeah. was pretty good. Yeah. But now it's, like, expected someone is going to propose, and I think that's, like, mm. yeah. <sighs> the yeah. original. Yeah, yeah. New, new album, isn't it? Anyway, moving on but, from Taylor Swift, she bores me. Hayley Williams, so, though, she was my first... Lesbian crush. Really? And a lover. Oh. Mm. Trying to think, who was my first lesbian crush? I've, t- I've said this before, I think. With, with the orange hair. She's got to have the orange hair. Yeah. She's beautiful. I used to like Sonny. Do you remember Sonny? Yeah. Oh, God, God. I've heard the name. Fit. She did a song Do in, you know the, in the 90s. Do you know anyone in music? She did a song. What's the song? Um, you love it, feels so. Yeah. Oh, I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Takes me yeah. High. Funny. That one. Yeah. Oh, when that came out, I was just like, oh, I could rag it everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Ryan. <laughs> oh, this is just going Sonny. where the G's just <clears throat> spit their drinks out yeah, all day. Yeah. Right yeah. then. Right, so. Oh, no, hello. What the fuck did you do there? Okay, so I've just put my sounds on. I thought I was having deja vu. Hello. Right, before we move on, I'm going to say goodbye to everybody over on Facebook. And if you want to join us, Go to patreon.com. See ya. Thanks for joining us. Right. Who's Angela Bassett? I don't know. She was my first woman crush. Don't know who it is. I don't know. I have to look it up. Calvin can do that for us. Angela Bassett. Mrs. Right. Jewish, um, Calvin, Hello. I have given you some photos, some yes. pictures, and there's one, and it should say, um, I think it might uh-huh. say Kelly T-shirt. Kelly T-shirt. Something like that. So in our one of our last episodes, we did a competition, um, and we were... Um, we wants the name for our avocado. And Kelly came up with Gape. I love Gape. And um, she won a T-shirt which says, um, I think, 
the words you are looking for are yes, mistress. And she sent a photo over um, of her wearing a said T-shirt, and I think Calvin has got the T-shirt. Well, sorry, Callie wearing the T-shirt. <laughs> That's Cal. She's probably watching. <laughs> there she is, wearing the T-shirt. Yes, mistress. So well done, nice Kelly. And we have an opportunity for you to win another T-shirt today. Not, not you, Callie, but you know, oh, feel free to dip in. Um, so we're going to hold another T-shirt competition. Not for that T-shirt. Um, it's going to be for any T-shirt on QWERTY.com of your choice. Uh, so if you do win, you can go over to the website. We're going to give you the code. You can put the code in and you get your T-shirt for free. And the competition today is... You came up with it, didn't you? Yeah. Go on. Are we doing 30 seconds or a minute? I think 30 seconds. Mm, I don't know. Tooth. 30 seconds is quite a lot, really, isn't it, for on a podcast? Mm. Mm-hmm. So how many swings of a flog out, Lady C, can do in 30 seconds? Yeah. Okay. So I'm not going to do it yet. I want you all to just guess um, how many swings of down. the flogger I can do in 30 seconds. Because yeah, we can go back through the comments. And whoever gets the nearest Genius. wins a T-shirt. Uh, I'm not going to do it right this second because <coughs> um, we're a little bit delayed. <laughs> About a minute delay. Um, and I just want to say hello, actually, to some of our new patrons, because we didn't do it last time. Uh, we've got Katie H, uh, Shea, Lady G, Kristen, Chloe, Katie W, Rachel, Manuela, Blue, Vince, Chrissy G and Rach J. That's a lot of patrons. That's a lot, yeah. Yeah, we've, they've been coming over in the droves. I was going to say And uh, yeah. a cheeky consensual spank to our OG 100. Hello, mm-hmm. hello, hello. They're all a bit nuts over there, aren't they? And the OG 100. Yeah. Mm. <clears throat> I love popping in that group every now and again, though. Yeah, you just pop up, cause murder, and then fuck off I again. Just throw a grenade. Uh, and the get group off. that we're talking about is what, <clears throat> WhatsApp group, if you haven't got onto it already. Uh, the people that like the OG 100 um, got access to a WhatsApp, and um, they're all getting on lovely and having a, having, a, having a ball. And every now and then you just come in, don't you? <laughs> Drop a little bomb and then fuck yeah. off. Kittler's the thing at the minute, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Tell them about Kittler. Uh, should have brought a photo, shouldn't we? I know. Over the road from ours, um, I, I spotted it weeks ago. It's like this little kitten, pure white, but it's got a little, just a little bit of black here. It's like Hitler Tash. Mm. But it, it, like, I've seen okay, loads really. of cats like that, but it's got the Hitler sweeping fringe Yeah, it's as got well. the fringe as well. And it's got, like, I, I was showing my mum the other day and I was probably looking at the picture. It's got Hitler's eyes. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, uh, I think it's Hitler being kind. It's a bit like steery, isn't it? Tell yeah. them about Hitler. That was him. Um... Weird timing. Oh, it was, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So oh, Isabella said, when is Vicky using the word cunt? There you go, just did. <laughs> right, so Nance, if you can just keep an eye on the numbers. Yeah, it's exactly like that, Carl. Yeah, we're just going to have to scroll back when we do it. Cause... Yeah, OK, so we've got some quite high numbers here. Jesus Christ. I know. No oh, my God, it's just like Kittler, your Kittler. Yeah, it it's is. just like that. It is. OK. Uh, your Kittler's got like a little bit more of a cute your moustache than <clears throat> I'm going to, I, I reckon you need... I can steal it. Yeah. Steal the actual cast. Yeah, because it's don't. only a kitten. They're obviously not letting it out at the minute, but as soon as they do. <laughs> oh, my, I can't believe the first thing you want to do is kidnap a kitten. Yeah. Wow. Just take I mean, a picture of it. plot genocide, so. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, so. Come at me. <clears throat> Calvin, if I stand on the middle camera there, if I stand back, can you see? If Could you see? Yeah, yeah. you can see me. <clears throat> okay. Don't worry, I'm not going to knock the set down. No, okay. okay. We hope. So. Just watch yourself off. I'm just going to move the plant. <laughs> A little bit. Okay. This, this could be chaos. So, last chance to get your numbers in. This is your competition <clears throat> of how many swings of a flogger I can do and what in are we 30 doing? seconds. 30. Okay, can you see this, Calvin? Yeah. yeah? You count the swings. I'm Ready? counting. Can Our someone time, else count yeah. just so we can check that I can count? Right, Mrs G, can you help count because Nancy's not having a very good count? I haven't got enough fingers. You ready? <laughs> Three. One. Go on. Yeah. Fifteen seconds. <clears throat> we got fifteen to go. Ten. Five. Three. One. Woo! Stop. That was a lot. That was hard. <clears throat> I popped out. What did you go? I lost count. Did she just have that? <laughs> so I counted ninety-two, but I can't guarantee that was right. <gasps> okay. Got some puffed out. <laughs> Let's move the plant back. I'm very glad that TV didn't break that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's a good job you didn't use the big one. Right then, Nance. 
have a little look back on the numbers and see who was there. Uh... Fucking hell, that <laughs> wrist action is incredible. <gasps> you know it, Kelly. <laughs> Whew, right. I'm pretty sure I already know who, who got the best guess before. Do you? Started. Yeah. Okay. So, closest. Nancy's going to have a little look through, see who was closest. Ooh. 89. Oh, okay. Oh, are they throwing, they're throwing extra guesses? Yeah, they're throwing in extra guesses. No, I know where it was up to no, before you uh, started. Yeah, okay. uh, fuck yourselves. I want to win. Oh, so you were the last one, were you? Okay. <laughs> so, Nancy's going to have a little look, see who the winner is. And what no, I'll that's, do, that's all back I'll uh, contact you, know, you uh, directly with the code that you need for your T-shirt, whoever you are. No. Nah, Fucking hell, Nance. Is there a lot of guesses? Yeah. Yeah. How puffed out am I? Closest, mm -hmm. I used to be a long distance runner. <laughs> Spanx. Go away! Yep. Oh, well done, Spanx. Spanx is winning the t shirt. What, what did she get? 89. Okay, so she was not far off at all. Yeah. <laughs> I saw Sarah, I just went, fuck it, and went one, four, five. <laughs> she could see my arms go. <laughs> Before you like, take off. <laughs> like Jackie Chan with some nunchuckers. Well, someone guessed 30 and said, because you can only do one swing per second. No, really? Underestimated, yeah. yeah. They obviously yeah. haven't. Maybe four. Right then, let's move on. So, well done, Spanx. I'll be in touch and uh, give you that code, darling. For a little tissue for your brow. <laughs> <sighs> Fucking hell. <laughs> I mean, I'm competitive, what can I say? I was yeah. going for it there, yeah. wasn't I? Uh, thank you for the loan of your flogger. Mm -hmm. So today we're going to have um, a discussion segment. Uh, you're going to be on the comments, you're going to be helping me and I am going to be taking inspiration from something that's happening this weekend, something big that's happening this weekend. Me too. Mm. So this weekend we are going to a wedding. Yeah. Aren't we? And um, I thought we would have a little interactive episode about weddings because I've got some wedding facts. But I think we've all been to a wedding where something's gone disastrously wrong. Oh, yeah, my whole wedding. Or, um, yeah, there's been something funny <clears throat> happening <clears throat> or whatever, some drama. Um, so I thought I would just read you some facts about weddings and stuff. And in the meantime, if any of you want to dip in with anything that's happened at your wedding, at somebody else's wedding, or wedding facts, things that, you know, we might want to know about weddings, uh, feel free to pipe up and um, Nancy will be on the comments. What are we looking at? Is it the ghost again? Sutton's gone. Sounds like Sutton yeah. ran through the pipe. <clears throat> okay. mouse. A little mouse, do you think? It's not a mouse. <clears throat> it's a okay. Yorkshire Terrier. What are we saying about the, uh, the, the flogging here? Uh, <laughs> that was awesome. Uh, whoop, whoop, wedding week. Right then. So, I've got a few things that I want to say about weddings, but if you guys want to pipe up as well, you can do. If you guys want to pipe up, you can. Anything at all, wedding -y. I quite like wedding facts. Do you? Yeah. <gasps> Lorna's just said, I went to sit down at my wedding dinner and the chair broke because I sat on it. Ooh. Ooh. I own wedding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I've killed the venue. Just this wedding dress. And just oh, that, <laughs> that, okay. that <clears throat> chair will stick it there for the yeah. bride. So, do um, you know where the term best man comes from? No. No. You've been a best man, haven't you? Yeah. Did you enjoy being a best man? Yeah. What was your role as a best man? Just basically pick up the slack. <laughs> Pick up the groom. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Off the I, floor. And that, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but did you organise a, a stag or something like that? No, uh, he, he done it similar yeah. to the way I done it. Yeah. I mean, we didn't, at my wedding, I didn't really have a best man because I have four lads who'd all been, played a big part of my life at different times. I was just like, I'm not picking one of you mm. to be better than the rest. All four of you are going to be yeah. equal parts. Basically, it, it was either, I have four grooms, one or four best men, yeah. one of the two. <clears throat> um, so, no, we didn't have, like, roles and responsibilities, but it was just yeah. more the tag of the name. So did you do a speech? No, he, he didn't have speeches. Didn't he? No. Oh, it, it was how a conventional? Yeah, it was, a, it was a different type of wedding. Like, it was, there was no speeches going on. Unconventional. Yeah, yeah. Go on, you're smirking. So, someone said, I had a celebrant read from a printout that was checked beforehand and still called me the wrong name four times in the ceremony. Amanda is not Miranda. Wow. Oh, my God. Wow. I mean, I know that, like, they sound similar when you say mm. them, but written down, mm. Amanda and As Miranda. Miles difference, yeah. I mean, I called Sid the wrong name, didn't I? Remember? <laughs> oh, God, I forgot all about that. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> I forgot all yeah, about we'd that. We spent so long in, like, the build-up. Because he calls me Nance. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
it's just become his pet name for yeah. me more than my actual name just Nance at home all the time yeah I was like do not fuck up and call me Aww. Nancy in front of your parents and, <laughs> and because we were so like don't get the name wrong don't I got the name wrong <laughs> I was like, fuck. <laughs> no, I didn't say Sid. So they obviously said his full name, yeah, yeah. middle name, yeah, and yeah. I just skipped his first name and went straight into... Oh, the... yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Daniel. It's funny, that. <laughs> I was like, who the fuck's Daniel? <laughs> Where's that? I'm Daniel. Never ever Daniel, called him Daniel in his life. No, no. <laughs> That's just nerves, that. Just nerves, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Right, so best man. It goes right back, and they reckon that it goes right back to, um, like, uh, Sparta in, like, the 5th century. I don't know what you've done or something about Spartans. A little bit, yeah, yeah, yeah. They were. Well, these guys, um, when someone was getting married, they got all the buddies together and just went on the piss. And I think probably had a little orgy as well because Spartans probably. quite liked a little bit of boy-boy, yeah, boy, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah, So um, they didn't call it a best man thing, but basically he's getting his best buds together. So that's the earliest recorders. Um, what's, what's the words I'm looking for? The earliest recorders, so best man, whatever, the words aren't forming. <clears throat> so... But we know that in Scotland, uh, around the 16th century, this is where the actual best man thing started, the word best man. And it come from best swordsman and then was just uh, oh, okay, cut yeah. down. Because back then, um, if a guy wanted to marry a girl from another clan, obviously you'd have to get permission. Sometimes that clan were like, no, you're not, you, you are not marrying him. He's a knobhead, yeah. an absolute knobhead. Um, and she's like, well, I want to marry him. Well, tough fucking shit. So they'd lock her in. But then the groom and his best man would go and steal her away. And then because there's always a chance of the family coming and, and reclaim her again, a bit of reclaim, like a bit of reclaim. Um, <laughs> if you don't know the jo joke, just look that up, underswinging. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> so they would then have to guard her during the ceremony because the family <clears throat> would try and come in and oh, yeah. steal her back again. Yeah. So there's a few things that come from this. Um, oh, also, there wasn't a lot of women around, so there could have been other clansmen from other clans who come in and try and steal her as well. Yeah. I mean, imagine being a girl, mm. having all that attention. <laughs> I'd like to the highest bidder. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Oh, I can just do Monday to Sunday. I'll have seven of you. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so a lot of things come from this. So the swordsman, the best man, would stand on the right side mm -hmm. of the groom. And they still do today. And you like his right hand man. And he's ready with his sword to fight off any other suitors and mums and dads who are pissed off. And the bride would stand on the left side because then the groom was, would have his dominant, his sword arm, ready to fight as well. So he'd have his best man, he'd have his sword arm, and the, the wife would be standing on the left. And we still see that today. The, yeah, the yeah. lady, or the other partner, always stands on the left-hand side and the best man always stands on the right-hand side. And it goes back to basically people stealing each other's wives in Scotland in the 16th century. There you go. That's where that one comes from. And we just do it for fun. Yeah. We just do it for fun. Yeah, yeah. That's it, yeah. But imagine, though, being um, a female in demand like that, and, like, people could steal you. Mm. Yeah, you've yeah. got your love of your life standing next to you, you hope. And then, you know, like Scotty McScotty fucking runs in with all of his <laughs> clan trying to steal you, and you don't like him. Imagine, like... I don't know, I wouldn't be very happy with that. Mad, anyway, like, Mel literally. says, I'd be fucked, Mr H is left-handed. <laughs> well, I thought, what happens if you if you are a lefty? But back in the day, I think you would have been forced to use your right hand. Probably. Because we were still doing that in the 80s. Those yeah, kids yeah, in our yeah. class who were yeah, lefties, they were stoned forced. Stoned for being a witch. Oh, it was terrible. <laughs> you were stoned for being a witch? No, you would be if you were oh. left-handed. Like, right, okay. I'm just looking for Mrs G's um, comment because she's free under the bus and everyone's slagging her off. So I've got a little story here of a best man. <clears throat> Um, and I, I read this and I was like, you are having a fucking giraffe. This is a best man speech, but it's a guy telling us about why it didn't go down very well. OK. He said, I was recently the best man at my friend's second wedding. I was also the best man at his first. I saw this joke online and it made me laugh, so I stole it for my opening speech. I said, <laughs> right, well... 
Welcome back, everyone. <laughs> That's class. <laughs> Which got more than a few <clears throat>, laughs, especially from the bride, who seemed to find it hilarious. Everything went well, speech over and done with, though later on, after a few drinks, my friend began to rip me a new arsehole, telling me I was out of line with that kind of joke and how I'd uh, made him so embarrassed. And it wasn't funny and that I shouldn't have brought his last marriage into this. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, But the wife was, like, really OK with it. I think that's brilliant. I think it's brilliant. So, right, well, welcome back. <laughs> yeah, that's fucking amazing. <laughs> it's happened. At, um, my ex-husband got married on Saturday. He had the same best this man. This Saturday? Yeah. Okay. He had the same best man. And my old maid of honour was now her maid of honour. Oh, my God. How bizarre. How bizarre is that? Literally welcome that back, literally. everyone. How does that even Day work out? Are they happy? Yeah, it looked lovely. Oh, good. Oh, you, you didn't go. No, we didn't go. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> My head really fell off no. then. It's, it's too far, but we're all, you know, we're all... <laughs> it's all very amicable. Civil. Yeah. Very, very civil. <clears throat> so, moving on. Um, so, in the 1500s, so we're, we're back there again, um, people didn't bath very often. Some people didn't bath very often now. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell. Keeping the tradition alive. <sighs> I mean, there's a few people in the club over there the years I've had to chuck a towel at them yeah, and just say, you know what, have yeah. a little shower. Give your pits a little swill because you stink. Anyway, in the fun. 1500s, they didn't bath very often. Once or twice a year. <laughs> Could you imagine the lice in your fucking mm. fanny hair? <laughs> <laughs> no, but you would, wouldn't you? You'd have lice. <laughs> You'd have winners. <laughs> it wouldn't be very nice, oh, would danglers. it? <laughs> it would not be nice. It's a dangly bit. Um, so, but they normally took their bath around May, May time. So a lot of weddings tended to be in June. And actually June is still the most popular month for weddings now. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but I don't know if you know this. My nan told me this. Okay, she wasn't alive in the 1500s. But when she was young, I think she was born in 1928, this was still happening then. Uh, they shared their bath water because they didn't have a lot of money. We used to do that as kids. Did you? Yeah. So she had a big, um, like, tin bath and uh, her dad would get in first because he used to work on the docks and he was the grubbiest. So oh, he'd get in he first. Could, he could last. Shouldn't he go last? Yeah. Uh, well, this is, this is what they always did. This yeah, is, this yeah, is just yeah, me yeah. now. This is what they did. And then um, the mum would get in. I mean, I'd argue that she needs a really good fucking scrub as well, you know, lady <laughs> things going on. And then all the kids... <laughs> Yeah. Get in. And then right down to the baby. The baby would be the last one. Oh. And the water would be so grubby yeah. after all them people, especially got a big family, that the water at the end where the baby was in was black. And that's where um, don't uh, throw the baby out with the bath water comes from because mums had to be really careful that the baby wasn't still in there. <laughs> no Drowning way. in yeah, its yeah, filth. Yeah, 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 yeah. Probably just anyway, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so because of this, because people didn't bathe very often, <clears throat> they'd have the weddings in June and um, the women would hold a bouquet full of beautiful, fragrant fl flowers to disguise the stench mm. from the wedding oh, party, yeah, especially yeah. herself. Yeah. I knew that's where flowers came from. I also read something somewhere, I don't know how true it is, um, that the whole wearing, like, flowers in your hair or, like... Um, like a tiara type thing, would have been a tiara back then. It was to stop any lice from your hair falling onto your face during the ceremony. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, nice. So <clears throat> I thought uh, that was quite fun with the whole um, bouquet of flowers. The other thing that came up, there's a vein that runs through your third finger, left hand, apparently called the vena amoris. Mm. And the vein of love. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a Latin term. And uh, they reckon back in the day, in, in Greek times, that they started wearing the wedding ring on the third finger left hand because it was directly uh, in connection to the horse because it run along, mm -hmm. you know, obviously that, that uh, artery or vein run along that finger. I thought that was quite nice. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I don't always wear my wedding rings. a little bit too big. I used to take mine off because my hands will flare up every now and again. Mm. But I, I Mine's a little bit loose. Ages. So, talking of engagement rings. At the age of two, Queen Mary, who, be, who later became Bloody Mary, uh, was the youngest person ever to receive an engagement ring at the wow. age of two. She was betrothed to the Dauphin of uh, France at the time. I think his name was Philip. I've seen a programme on this. There's a pro programme called Rain. Have you seen it? Oh, e -I -G -N. It's amazing. It's on Netflix. And it's all about um, Mary and is it Francis or Philip? I think it's Philip. How um, They were obviously betrothed and then they, they met as teenagers for the first time, the person they're going to marry and she's a bit like, uh, and he's a bit like, 
Mm. And obviously they got their eye on other people, you know, because mm. they're just yeah, natural. Yeah. They're, they're attracted to other people and they've been thrown together. It was really good. What I liked about Rain was that the music score was even Francis, though... Francis, apparently. Is it Francis? Thank you, whoever that well. was. Um, the music score to it um, was modern day tunes, but made to sound old. Oh, so like they that. had like a little bit of... Um, What's his fucking name? The guy, the guitar. Like you're doing, Bridgerton. It's yeah. all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very similar. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, I really, really liked it for that. So it was like had a little modern twist to it. And even though the costume was like um, obviously old, um, there's like little modern materials used in there mm. just to bring it up to date. Yeah, I didn't yeah. spoil it at all. It was really good. So yeah, she was two. So she's, she, she received the smallest engagement ring ever to be made and she was the youngest and obviously still is the youngest. A bit sick, that really, though, isn't it? Yeah, I bet, yeah. You know, um, agreeing for your two-year-old to marry in, in the future. Yeah, don't like that idea. How yeah, would our comments go in there, Nance? Um, a few people saying they really enjoyed Rain. Mm. I'm going to watch that. Uh, Mrs J throwing Mr J under the bus. Said at their wedding, he finally proposed because he didn't actually propose to her. Oh, really? Yeah. So he's just say, will you marry me? And then I do in the same breath. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So because of how we got engaged, we uh, we went over to Ireland and we got absolutely fucked. Um, and we were talking to my dad about it, about getting engaged and all that. He was like, yeah, yeah, just do it, do it. So we got back to his, we got in bed. And then, you know, the way he could update your uh, relationship thing on Facebook. Mm. <clears throat> we changed ours to engage and this, this is like half two in the morning. And like, oh, fuck, I'm going to change it back in the morning. Well, I passed out in bed, woke up like seven in the morning, hung over, dry mouth, all that. Checked on Facebook. It had like 80, notes, 80 no. likes and stuff like that. And I was like, fucking just get rid of it, get rid of it. And just as we were about to, uh, Nan liked it. <gasps> so you basically <laughs> got engaged by accident. Yeah. On a pissed night out. Yeah. And here you are 10 years later. Works out, doesn't so it? So it worked out, didn't it? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, lucky you. You've got him forever. I only have him for an hour. Lucky and you. that's enough. <laughs> 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 an hour will do me. <laughs> right, so uh, some people here are saying that they've seen Rain and they really enjoyed it. And yeah. it was a shame that it finished, Mel. <clears throat> okay, so stag parties. Stag, obviously, in America, is it's like a bachelor party instead, isn't it? They yeah. call the hen parties bachelor, uh, bachelorette. Mm -hmm. um, but again, um, they reckon that the first stag parties uh, were a fifth century Sparta. Yeah, yeah. Um, getting pissed and all the rest of it, big feast and all that, but they didn't call them stag parties. It was just like guys going out getting pissed. Yeah. Um, and they reckon that the stag element is much more recent, actually much more recent. And um, they don't know exactly who started this whole thing, but obviously stags have got this element of power, strength, prowess and all that. Um, and they just think that, you know, men puffing their chests out and power and prowess. Um, they've linked the stag somehow. We just don't know exactly where that's come from. The hen, though, is a little bit more uh, easy to guess, I suppose. Um, hens, obviously, being uh, representative of, like, you know, mother hen. Yeah, Mothering, yeah, yeah, yeah. that kind of thing. Um, and both of them, they reckon, have probably come about at the same time, really. Um, and they do think that around that, the 5th century spa, said that women were having hen parties as well, obviously not calling them hen parties. Um, but... Get this. So while the guys are, like, having the time of their lives, a big shindig with the buddies, <laughs> um, the women back in the day... Oh, so, so lame. The night before the wedding, um, <laughs> they would be praying to the gods of fertility and weather, <laughs> as well as the ancient beauty rituals and star and probably started around the same time as stuff, Spartan stag parties, just not as wild. Yeah. And so they're having the time of their lives, probably shagging each other, drinking everything <laughs> in sight, and these poor girls are praying to the gods of fertility and weather. How times have changed. Platting each other's hair. <laughs> Jesus. Please don't let me get Yeah. <laughs> no, so, I just mean the hens you use, were not I know what you mean. It was a nice, quiet mm, weekend. That, that was some fucking prayers every night. My, we my Hindu was boss. We went to a, um, a medieval night in Park Hall, which is just up towards Preston. And um, it was a proper medieval night with, like, you know, King Arthur and Guinevere and all that. And me being me thought that everybody else that was taking part in this thing would dress up. <laughs> um, and so me and our hen party... 
there was about 25 people in our hen party and I was like, right, so we've got to dress up. Were you the only one? No, not me personally. But there was about 200 people in this grand hall in oh, no. Camelot. It's Park Hall in Camelot. And our party was about 25 and we were the only 25 dressed up. <laughs> and uh, but you I, had the best time, though. We, yeah. had, we had an amazing time. Kept your headdress on all night because the woman kept saying, so she knew it was for a hen, she kept saying, don't lose any part of your costume. £150. She was going to charge me if I lost anything. I guarded that fucking thing on my head all night because it was getting passed around the Grand Hall. Oh, yeah. I was like, that keeping my eye on where the thing was going <laughs> to make sure I got it back. Yeah. But uh, they had me doing all sorts of things. And at one point, I was like lying on the floor in in front of King Arthur, in front of one of his slave, I don't know what you call them. What do you call like, the, the the men that are just like waiting on around King Arthur and the... Um, I don't know, there the is equivalent a of wenches. Though, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you mean. So yeah. I was lying on the floor with him, looking all grubby, and, so, and I was getting get, dared to touch him up and kiss him and everything. It was, mm. just, it was great. You'd love this. Go on. So uh, we did a silent disco for one of my <gasps> hand of activities. <gasps> is that Sarah P? Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, my God. Do you know, Sarah, how much I love silent discos? We've already said that next year for my 50th and Andy's 50th, um, we need to have a silent disco. And it's going to be just me and Andy. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody she else. Absolutely We've loves tried it. to do a silent disco so many times in the club. The first time was brilliant. And every time after that, it's just bombed. And I've, I'm so disappointed. I need another one. Anyway. So, where was it up to? What was I talking about? Male servants. Yeah, what They're are called they called? They're called cup bearers, apparently. What are they called? Cup bearers. Oh, thank you. Thank you. So, yeah, I was lying on the floor and I was getting dirty to do all sorts of things in me full <coughs> regalia. There's all these people in just, like, the little tiny dresses and little tiny sandals with the fucking fake extensions and fake lashes and there's me looking like a tit on the floor, uh, kissing this weird guy mm. with, like, mud all over his face because he's supposed to be poor and, you know, all that, yeah. It's all about fun, though, isn't it? Yeah. As long as you have fun. And we were drinking, like, mead out of, like, um, cups without handles. It didn't give us knives and forks. We had soup oh, and a roll, right. and you had to like dig your roll out and then use your, your roll to drink your soup. It was dead classy. <laughs> it sounds good. Yeah. yeah. I loved my hen. <laughs> it was brilliant. <clears throat> right. So uh, we've got a few little fun facts that I'm going to share. The biggest wedding ever was in Jerusalem, and there were 30,000 people oh, there. Oh, fuck that. Why? Is that? That's like That's like a village. It's bigger than a village, it's a town. It's yeah. like download. It is like download. <laughs> without the COVID. Without the COVID. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you know what? In Cyprus, uh, obviously you know that we spend quite a lot of time in Cyprus. When they have a wedding over there, they invite everybody, basically. And uh, there was someone that we knew that was going to get married. And I said, how many people are you invited? He went, mm, there'll be about two, two and a half thousand people there. Basically the whole of the village. You can come if you want. Just like inviting anybody just to come along. Oh my I could not be asked. I think there was 60 people at my wedding and it was too many. Yeah. 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 Well, we'd me and Jim just got away, went away and got married. Didn't yeah. have anybody. Yeah. It was great. At a party when we came back. That yeah. was for everybody else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so 26,000 couples marry each day in China. <clears throat> 26,000 couples each day get married in China. Can we just... people a day. Hell. That is unbelievable. I mean, obviously, it's got a massive population. Yeah, it's huge. Isn't it? But that's unreal. That's yeah. So I'm saying twenty six thousand couples, not people. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. And Elton John once charged. How much do you think Elton John would charge for a private gig for a wedding? <sighs> Should we throw it out to our people out there? <clears throat> and they were a little bit delayed. Like, go on. How many do you think? I'm gonna say two point five mil. Okay, two point five million. What do you say? Just to perform at a wedding. Mm. Just a wedding. Say a mil. A million. Okay, you'd be underselling yourselves. Right, oh, okay. So Mrs G has just come on because obviously she is hearing this before everybody else. <laughs> she is not delayed. Cheat. She said 10 million. 10 million? <laughs> for one performance. For what? Well, it's, it's for a gig. It's not one song, it's for a gig. Justin Bieber just charged 10 million. Justin Bieber charged 10 million. So Cass has I'm said 500,000. Now, Cass, I think, is from New Zealand. So are you saying 500,000 New Zealand dollars, Cass? Because that wouldn't be a lot, really, would it? Really? No, I don't know the conversion. So somebody must have said, what's a silent disco? Oh, yeah, yeah Isabella. So, sir, it's, it's a disco that you have headphones with the music. It's much more than that, Sarah. <clears throat> Come on. Big it up, girl. <laughs> 
<laughs> right, nobody else is guessing. Is that because they haven't caught up with us yet? Okay. No, not New Zealand. Four million. Four million. Four million pounds. And he was performing at some billionaire's wedding. He's got the wedding some tax on, hasn't he? fucking stinking rich Russian oligarch, probably. Yeah. Sorry to anybody in Russia. I'd rather just put Spotify on. <clears throat> well, I mean, four million. Yeah, You've yeah. got to have more it's money fair. than sensitive, haven't you? Hey. <laughs> Haven't you? Oh, yeah. 100%. It's absolutely crazy. Have we got any listeners from Russia? I don't think so. Mm. No. I'm not too sure. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> and if we had them, I just left. <laughs> 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 right. So I'm going to do a dangly bit now. And uh -huh. then if we've got any comments from our listeners, we'll um, deal with some of those. But I did something recently. Calvin. Oh, actually, Calvin, I need to send some stuff over to you, mate. Yeah. Yeah. So while I'm doing this, can you Send have a little notes. look back through the comments for us and see <laughs> yeah. if there's anything that people are um, dibbing in with? Because I just want to send some pictures over to Calvin to show up on the screen. So um, this is something that is related to one of our last dangly bits that I did. Okay. So if I can send this over to you, Calvin. Um, that was a funny one. Show. Go on. My partner never proposed. He just told me that we should get married. Told we yeah, a week later, his friend was ordained as a Jedi and we got married. <gasps> oh, my God. <clears throat> That's quite sick. We got honest. married by a Jedi? Yeah. Is yeah. that in America? You can do shit like that yeah. in America, can't you? My, my mate become, um, I think it's a pastor when, when he's out over in Texas. Yeah. And I, I remember him FaceTiming me high off his head. And he was like... <laughs> You ever do get pissed and get high? He was, like, <laughs> was like, Cancel your wedding, lads. I can do it for free. No, <laughs> did he? <laughs> no, he didn't. No, <clears throat> we did have a celebrant, though, didn't we? <laughs> she was amazing. Well, right. you're a registered <clears throat> celebrant, aren't you? I am. Yeah, I think Kelly's a celebrant as well. She was commenting yeah, she before. Is. Yeah, yeah, I'm a celebrant, and uh, I am leading um, Lady Artemis's wedding. Yeah, oh, in amazing. September, so I'm actually taking the ceremony oh, for them, which is really nice. Yeah. We'll, we'll book him when we redo our vows. Right, so Calvin, I'm going to send you three first of all, okay? And then I'm going to send you another three, okay? I want you to show them as I say them. Is there anything else on the comments there? I went to my friend's wedding in Poland a few years back. It was amazing. So much vodka, so much food, including a literal flaming <laughs> turkey with fireworks coming out of it. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. Okay, right. So, have you got those, Calvin? Uh, yes. Okay, so I am just going to send another one to you. Spank said James got her her name wrong during their vows. Really? Yeah. Mm. So, what did he call her? She didn't say. Oh, I, I think she told me this story the other day, and I can't remember. Imagine getting the name wrong. Well, imagine you don't imagine. need to imagine. I know. What the bed is that? It's, it's probably quite a common thing, to be honest. Well, I feel like everything went wrong at my wedding. Oh. Like a week before the wedding, the photographer cancelled. Oh. Two days before, the hair and makeup cancelled. Oh. And then the DJ was just the DJ. Oh, well, the DJ we is just a whole different DJ story altogether, isn't he? And then the fella put on the floor, didn't it? The floor, yeah. <laughs> it was just a fucking... It was clear. So I'm convinced and said we need to get married again. But we've got a lot of stories to tell from yeah. your wedding, haven't we? That's, yeah. Some that we can't Everyone tell. Everyone has an orgy that I wasn't invited to. Oh, OK. I was just about to say, <laughs> and some things we can't talk about, and you've just nah, told the world there was an orgy at your wedding that you didn't get involved in. Yeah. Why didn't you get involved in it? Because it was my wedding day. We all <laughs> snuck off. It was it, in, you know, that quiet time between, like, the meal, yeah. and then we went off and had photos and stuff, and everyone's like, what do we do? Leave a bunch of swingers long enough, they're going to find something to do. Just went they all went for an orgy. And it was each other. So we, <laughs> you weren't invited at all, says orgy. No, we were off doing our photos with the kids and stuff. Oh, little did you know, there was a gangbang going on. Yeah, mm. Mrs Pumpkin went for In a nap. In room 69. She, she went for a nap and woke up and they were all... Around her? Yeah. No way. Wow. <laughs> did she join in, though? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> right, so, Calvin, um, you've got on the first email... You've got um, like a cartoon, youngish looking cartoon um, of Nancy with purple hair. Can you just flash it up for us, please? Oh, no way. You've been playing Vi again. I have. <laughs> That's the old one. <laughs> Look at the fucking lines in the head. Where's your Botox? So there's your young one. <laughs> That's the one. There you go. That's, That's your young one. one. So That's our you. Nancy as a cartoon. I put the other one back on. So this is. I, this I said is before to, and after Botox. I said to AI. <laughs> 
<laughs> Make an also with no Botox. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> and there you go. That's what you'd look like with, with, oh, with my lips slim gone? lips and wrinkles. Oh, no, like me. No, no, no. Okay. I'll keep the slim lips and wrinkles. <laughs> and then the last one, I said, can you make her into a Muppet, please? <laughs> <laughs> right. Do you know who you look like? Emma Thompson when she's in Harry Potter. <laughs> what was she? <laughs> Professor Trelawney. <laughs> You look like Emma Thompson and Harry Potter. That's what we heard. It was like the other day when it got rained on. It was wild. Yeah. That was the last recording we did, wasn't yeah. it? It wasn't that bad, but it, it, was. it wasn't far off. Oh, I didn't have a bottle. Yeah. So the second email that I sent you was um, some pictures of Ryan. There's oh, a no young way. one, a young cartoon. <laughs> you just seen it, it looks really good, though. Look. That's quite a good looking cartoon, isn't that? I didn't see the other one yeah. I've just seen. Then there's the one of a, a, a nice Muppet, not like a, a, a weird looking Muppet, a handsome looking Muppet. There you go. That's not too bad. Wait for it though, hang on. If I was going to bang a Muppet, I, I would. said to AI, I said to AI, he, look, he, he, he doesn't look tired enough. Make him look tired and call him a knobhead. Okay. Not that, not that one. The other one. How many have you made? Oh my God. Should I have another one? What about that one? No, OK. So I need to send you it again then. There should be another one. Right. With a knobhead oh. T-shirt. Oh, God. OK. I'll... Oh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> so we're so AI to make him look tired oh, and put a knobhead T-shirt on. You look like you haven't slept for three days. <laughs> <laughs> he never sleeps. <laughs> so yeah oh there you go God. because you never sleep that's you're it. always yeah. tired that's your new um so that's well, you right, as a I'm muppet gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna set that okay so if you want i just said <laughs> i sent it a picture of dylan can so that one that was on? wrong before can you just yeah. flash that one back up again for us please oh there's dylan in the background oh yeah i thought that was quite cute yeah that's Dylan. There you go. Doesn't really look like him. Looks a bit like him, doesn't I mean, it? Yeah. Could too, to it could be Calvin too. It could be Calvin. Yeah, yeah it's, just, it's just like any producer, really, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> it's just the producer on the day. Given, given so I've just yeah, sent you bump, another email. If it was Calvin, he'd have I've just sent him another email. <laughs> this this could be our new uh, advertising graphic. Says all of us. Of Muppet. <laughs> so bear in mind, I put my Muppet up last week and I also put it on Facebook and everybody loved my particular Muppet. Yours was fucking hilarious. They didn't put the Dominatrix one on here. But there you go. So Calvin's about to put it up now. <laughs> You're looking, you cheesing. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so for those who aren't watching, there's like little Polaroid <laughs> photos of me, Nance and Ryan, and beyond. then Dylan in the bottom. Bo- the <laughs> The voice from beyond. <laughs> the voice from beyond, yeah. So there you go. Wow. So from now on, we're going to be Muppets. <laughs> it's the best I could do, guys. I'm really sorry. I enjoy it. Um, <laughs> so Joe, when you message a boss and you don't get a response for three hours, because she's fucking making AI Muppets. Yeah. No, um, I'm, oh, I'm up leave the Vic wall. alone. She must be dead busy, you know. Yeah. Uh, do you know what? Uh, somebody else, Neil, said this to you yesterday. When you're supposed to be fucking busy and you're doing things like this, this literally just took me 15 minutes. I am going to be doing this forever now. Everyone's going to be getting AI Muppets. I feel like graphic. we should start employee of the month in work and <laughs> just get their, um, <laughs> their Muppet picture on the TV. <laughs> I'm sure some people might take offence for being called a Muppet, though. So, right. Muppet of the month. Muppet of the month, so, yeah. We've had on. our fart buzzer. Is that, that's why like we need to finish now, I think. So the dangly oh, bit was at God. the end there, just because the wedding one went on a little bit. Have we got any other comments on there, Nance, that uh, we need to read out? I don't know, we got distracted. We got distracted by the Muppets. Can we have a Muppet CNC, Ryan? <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like everybody's loving these. We need Muppet merch, we do, Lorna. A masked Mr G Muppet. <laughs> yeah, it needs um, gloves on. Yeah. Padded cell Muppet t shirts. Definitely, definitely. Oh, yeah. We definitely need good, to do yeah. that. Yeah. The Muppets need to stay. I just had so much fun doing that. Yeah, right, so we're going to finish. Um, but before we do, I am going to give you oh. a little fetish factoid, if I can find it. Oh, here we go. I like these. Hang on. Fucking hell. I've got so many pieces of paper. <laughs> what the hell? Look at this. How ridiculous. Here yeah. we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, can you guess what formicophilia is? 
Mycophilia. For Mycophilia. Oh, for Mycophilia. Yeah. Uh, no. Okay. For Myco. <laughs> no. Can you guess? For Mycophilia. I don't know if this is going to be in time for our um, watchers no. to, to jump in. So, for Mica is um, ant in Latin, but we often use it as just like bugs mm. in general, insects. So, for Mica is insects or ants. For Mycophilia is a love of and an attraction to insects. Wow. <laughs> yeah, the voice from beyond. <clears throat> That's a no from Calvin. <laughs> a definite immediate. No needles for Calvin. Yeah. So let me let me cover this a little bit more. So it's people who are intensely sexually aroused um, by insects. But what do they do? I was looking into this. Yeah. Like... They purposely catch lice. So the I feel, uh, I feel, I feel, I feel like I'm uh, Oh fuck off, right? <laughs> For those who aren't watching, right? I've just been doing like scratching his moustache, hoping a few little like fucking bugs have come out of it. I was just trying to say nonsense. on. No, you don't need to now, mate. That ship sailed. Job's done. So people either <laughs> like them to crawl on their skin. They like the little. Of like oh. magic cockroaches doing oh, that. So imagine yeah. like having a celebrity <clears throat> doing the um Well they'd love that, wouldn't they? Mm. They'd be putting their hand in for that. That must be like one cat uh, every year. Some people <laughs> like to put their penis in a bowl of oh. insects. Oh wow. No thanks. Some people <laughs> like <G's> gone white. <laughs> Some people like to have them spread over the genitals. But what if, what if like a little fucking ant or something, like a little earwig goes in, goes yeah, in yeah, your like yeah, pee yeah, hole? Yeah. yeah. What would you do? Seriously? Oh no. I mean, you'd have to, like, muster off a piss really, really quickly to flush it out, wouldn't you? But for what you've just been for a piss, because, like, you're going for a little wank, mm. so you've had a little pre-wank piss, so you don't need to go. Then you spread all your insects all over your, mm. your knob and balls, and then a little earwig makes its way into your but, PO. But burrows in. And you can't get it out because you, you haven't got a piss. I mean, so, we're like, saying this is just men, but imagine the women. Well, yeah. Cave. Ooh. 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 A cockroach up your out. fandango. Ugh, no. No, 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 no. But there's also some people, obviously, that have phobia, which is an aversion to insects. And apparently, um, I, I might have to try this, there's some um, dominatrix out there who've used insects in, the, in their sessions but with people that really don't like them. That's where my mind went, wasn't it? Yeah. And uh, <coughs> they've they probably cockroaches like, on, their, on their chest yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've like, been pushing them down to the knob to make them, like, confess to something or whatever before the cockroach makes it down to its bell end. Oh, you could lock them in the padded cell with some. Yeah. Little beasties. I wouldn't want to get them all out after them, <coughs> Exactly, yeah. That's the problem. No, yeah. you find another sub to <coughs> Paddling pool. Pad big one of them pig paddling exactly pools. That's what I was just going to say. Throw them in there. Where would you get all the bugs from, though? You'd have to spend the afternoon in Sefton Park collecting bugs. <laughs> 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 so you don't fancy for Micah for, for, for Micah Philia then? No, no, no. that's what? not what I'm going to surprise you and say. Oh yeah, I've done that on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. So, um, oh yeah, some people are saying hard limits here. Oh, that was Mrs G. <laughs> I'm going to pass out. I so genuinely dramatic. fell across a video of a bloke putting one in his pen. Yeah. I'm guessing there's a piece. It's pen. Off the it's penis. end of that. Penis. Yeah. You actually put it down. Why though? But I think Have you seen those book, fish? Those fish that go up your wee stream? Yeah, like in the Amazon. Sort of yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, when you said that then, I thought you meant people purposely done it, but no, you, you're actually told, aren't you, to not go across yeah. rivers and all that because yeah. these little fish go up your so pee-pee like, hole. Mm -hmm. it just goes up the <clears throat> stream of way. Follows it up. Yeah. Learned no. that on Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> Don't fancy that, thank you very much. It. I haven't got a penis, so I haven't got to worry about it. Right! <laughs> right, I say a meatloaf. That's a safe word. <laughs> That's <laughs> okay. So we freak guys and out. <laughs> okay, so we are going to leave it there. How did you enjoy our uh, second live episode? I was good, that. Did you enjoy mm -hmm. that? Yeah. Is it, isn't this like interactive stuff fun? I like it, yeah. Oh, I'm liking it. It's really good. Somebody said a new nightmare unlocked. <laughs> 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 oh, cats go red, red, red. Sorry, gang. Maybe we should have had a trigger warning first, but, you know, it's live, so you get what you're given. Yeah. Tough shit. If you don't it like it, alt yeah, F4. It is what it is. Right, unlike last week, we are actually going to um, stop rolling at the end of this. We're not going to carry it on. Uh, so thank you, everybody who joined us live. I don't know how many there were. In the end, how many did, were live with us in the end, Calvin? Do you know? Uh, 
Cherry one at the moment. Mm -hmm. I think some of us have dipped, some have dipped in and dipped out. Um, but thank you, everybody, who did take the time to join us. Really, really appreciate it. And hopefully you can join us next time. So we're going to be recording every fortnight. What's two weeks from today? Don't Monday. Know, two weeks from today. Fuck off, not bad. <laughs> two weeks from today, whatever date that is. I, I should Fifth. know this. Fifth of July. Oh, no, August. August. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 5th of July 2025. Listen, <laughs> Give I'm yourself just, a year off. I just don't want the kids to be off school, OK? <laughs> Denial. Don't don't. We'll Please do don't. OK, so uh, we're going to go. Uh, tell your friends, try and join us next time if Bring you can. We'd love time. to see you again next time. For those who are watching the recorded version, hopefully we've given you a little bit of foam to try and join us uh, on the live next time. But in the meantime, you're obviously not binge-watching if you're watching live. <laughs> Because, well, you could you binge watch, I suppose. Well, you, you could, couldn't you, yeah. You could go back on some. Yeah. Yeah, but anyway, anyway. For those who are watching anyway. recorded, Whatever if you're you binge doing. watching, put the kettle on. We'll see you in five. If not, we'll see you next week. Bye. Lots of love. And there we have it. Another day made better by listening to the Curators of Chaos. Thanks for dropping by. And if you enjoyed the show, we'd really appreciate you sharing the Love the Paddicell podcast with your friends. Don't forget to give us a follow on our socials, maybe some five-star reviews, and feel free to send us an email to medic at thepattersellpodcast.co.uk or even interact with us on Facey, Insta and our other socials because we love chatting to you. Make sure you stop by next week because, as Bowie says, I don't know where I'm going next, but I promise it won't be boring. Catch you soon. Thank <laughs> you.